One in four women and one in nine men have experienced severe, severe domestic violence, sexual violence, or stalking with impact. Have you heard these statistics before? I wanted to introduce you to a local community agency called Safe Harbor Crisis Center. Safe Harbor is a nonprofit agency that is in Galesburg, Illinois. That's part of Knox County and close to where I live. Um, like many people in these statistics, I have been a victim of domestic violence and I have been an eyewitness as a child to domestic violence. So this kind of helps you understand that sometimes it's people you know and sometimes it's people you don't know. Um, I've done my research on this subject previously and then I did some more research this time just to kind of see how things um, have changed with domestic violence and what Safe Harbor does as um, for our community. Uh, Safe Harbor has many ways that they raise money so that they can continue to be a nonprofit agency. In our community, they raise money by donations. Uh, different local businesses like Walmart, Target, um, Aldi, Save-A-Lot, they donate. Um, some of them donate food. Some of them donate diapers. Some of them donate, you know, last season's clothes, stuff they couldn't sell. And that helps Safe Harbor be able to provide um, clothing, you know, sometimes they're emergent, emergent victims that need clothing, shelter, those kind of things right away. And they have um, two rooms set up in their building that has stuff for people that need things right away. And then they also founded uh, a store called the Purple Hanger Shop. So the Purple Hanger has uh, lots of stuff for resale. It's like a consignment store. People donate things and then they resell it. Um, so that place... <laughs> is located in Galesburg, Illinois. Also, all the money that's brought in from the do from the donations and the resale goes to Safe Harbor so they can help victims of domestic violence. Um, domestic violence affects everyone, women, children, uh, men, and families. On an average, 20 people per minute are abused by an intimate partner. Women ages 18 to 24 are the most likely to be abused by an intimate partner. Uh, one in four women and one in seven men experience severe um, domestic, severe intimate partner violence, intimate partner sexual violence, and intimate partner stalking each year. The impact of domestic violence causes injury, um, can cause PTSD, cause, causes fearfulness, um, causes anxiety, it is just very harmful for everyone involved. Uh, one in three women and one in four men experience physical violence by an intimate partner each year. So they separate them like that because the physical violence could be slapping, pushing, shoving, hitting. But when they say severe, they are talking about um, anyone being beaten, being burned, being strangled things that cause more injury. It's not that the first group doesn't, but the second, um, the severe, causes more severe injuries. Uh, one in seven women and one in 25 men have been injured by an intimate partner um, per year and are, um, saw, are seen at local places for injuries, like the, have gone to the hospital for injury, go to clinics for injuries. So that number is a little bit lower. Uh, one in 15 children um, are affected by domestic violence every year. 90% of those children are a direct eyewitness of domestic violence and that's what I was, a direct eyewitness of domestic violence and that went on for years. So you can see how this agency, it's very important for them to be able to help victims because it happens every day. Uh, Safe Harbor Crisis Center um, helps victims of domestic violence in many ways. They have two lawyers that can help go to court with you for like order of protection court, who can help counsel you, who can help figure out, you know, is this something that you need to do? They also have, um, uh, their building is like a facility that's got an upstairs and a downstairs. The upstairs is more for clients that need emergent help. So they've got bedrooms, bathrooms, people can actually live there. The downstairs has a kitchen, full kitchen, with a very big dining room table. They And they have a very secure building for um, when you need an emergent need from domestic violence. You usually are fearful for your life and your children's lives. 
or your family's lives, friends' lives. So it is very protected. It has an alarm system. It's got several locks on the inside of the door. It's got a buzz-in system. You can't come there unless you've already filled out um, their application paperwork. Um, so that you can then sign a confidentiality agreement. So this ensures that the clients will be kept safe and confidential. They do have a playground in the back and it's got a 12 foot tall fence. So that helps um, let the kids be able to play and know that they are still safe. So this agency helps the community in many different ways. It keeps um, the people in the community safe. It helps the victims and it can help just provide for your family when sometimes it's not an ideal situation. So I um, just wanted to explain Safe Harbor nonprofit agency to everyone and what they do in our community.